CRNA a passion for you? Is it? Do you think it's for you? Are you still concerned? You're thinking, I don't know for sure Thrive CRNA. Yes, I wanna become a CRNA, but it seems like a long road. It seemed like a difficult process. But I'm here to say to you, if you really wanna become a CRNA, you gotta work for it and be passionate. So in this video, we're gonna talk all about that, so keep watching. My name is Christine and welcome to a new video. If it's your first time here and you wanna become a CRNA or grow your CRNA career, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I know you might be under a situation where maybe you're young, maybe you're in high school, maybe you're in college, maybe you are in another area in, um, in the medical field, or maybe you're not even in the medical field, but you're considering going into the medical field. And you've heard about something about CRNAs. And you may say, hmm, this seems like a really interesting area to go into. Maybe you're a person that ever since you were born, you felt like you've always wanted to become a certified registered nurse anesthetist. You said to yourself, I wanna do anesthesia, and this is for me. I'm here to say to you that if you're passionate about something and you feel like it is a right fit for you, you should not give up on it. Maybe you need to be rejected a few times to actually get what you want. Because sometimes things just doesn't fall into your hands easily. Sometimes you gotta work for it. And honestly, I feel when you work hard for something and you really put the effort in and you put the work in, it makes you a strong person in general. It's not about making a road that's easy for you. Sometimes you need to have a little bit of competition, a little bit of growth, a little bit of, of sweat, a little bit of stress, a little bit of you know emotion to get what you want. Because things never happen easy for me. Even to become a registered nurse, you know, initially, I wanted to be, you know, in another area and then I transitioned into being in another area. So it's, it's like, for example, a QK nurse practitioner, that's what I wanted to be, transitioning to becoming a CRNA. It could be definitely be uncomfortable to realize that you want to be in another area that you're actually going to school for. And that's okay. You know, you guys say to yourself, you know what, I may have to put the extra effort in, I may have to take more classes or retake classes or do whatever I can to be in a specific area that I want to be in. And if CRNA or doing anesthesia and providing amazing art of anesthesia is for you, you go all in on it. You go all in for your passion and you do not give up. And I know you might be in a situation where you're a lot, going through a lot of stress, maybe you're in the ICU and you're transitioning in the ICU and you're feeling this is very difficult, this foundation. But if you can handle being in the ICU and deal with that type of skill set, honestly, that will allow you to be very powerful, very strong, allow you to have a very strong foundation. So when you are going into CRNA school, as well as getting into your clinical practice of becoming a CRNA, these skill sets that you develop as an ICU nurse is essential. It is the bare bones to becoming a CRNA. Of course, anesthesia is different. There's a lot of, I mean, it is a totally different ball game when you're thinking about the knowledge base you need to be at. It's very different than critical care nursing. But laying that foundation is essential. So if you have the opportunity to go right into the ICU as if you graduate, you know, RN school, do it. Maybe you're in another area and you're saying to yourself, hmm, I'm considering becoming a CRNA, but you know, it may be a long road for me. Maybe I'm a little older. Maybe you know, I am in a, a, a totally different area. If you want something, it doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter the area that you're currently in. If you want something, you just do it. You take your prerequisites. You change, you become a, an RN. Maybe you switch into the ICU you get your certification, you start strengthening your application, you can start right now. I know you're watching this video and you're interested, or maybe you are, you know you wanna become a CRNA. But when you have a passion for something, you gotta do it. You know, even if it's today, right now you woke up and you're like, you know, I'm considering becoming a CRNA and I know I wanna become a CRNA. Start now, you can change. Whatever lifestyle you had in the past, maybe you didn't have great grades, maybe you weren't in the ICU, whatever it is, you can start today into making the road for you to be successful. Because it's all about your mind, you know? The mind is so powerful. If you start changing that mindset and being positive, changing that mindset to stay strong, 
to not give up, to be diligent, to just be on that positive mindset. You can do anything. No matter whatever happened in the past, forget about it if it's negative. Say, you know what? That's the past. I don't care what people say to me. I know what I want to do. People are trying to hold me back. And yes, people are going to be there that are going to be negative. But you got to say to yourself, you know what? I'm strong and I'm unique and I'm going to fight through it. You know, I remember when I was going into nursing school, I didn't have the funds to, be, to go into college. So I had to get 100% student loans. And I was even a part of a program where it allowed me to be, since I was in a low socioeconomic status, to get a specific um, program called Higher Education Opportunity Program. And so it allowed me to not have, you know, funds, you know, because my parents could not afford for me to go to college. I knew to myself that I wanted to go into nursing or not even nursing, just go into the healthcare field. I think in the beginning, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Biology, biochemistry, I really didn't know for sure. So you might be saying to yourself, yeah, you know, I may not have the funds to go back to school, but for me, I had to take student loans out. And you know what? For me, it worked for me and, it, and I had to do it because I knew to myself that I wanted to go back to school. I love education. So that might be you, or you might be a person that is able to save. If you are, you know, for example, you're an ICU nurse and you're making a certain amount of money, start saving now. Put yourself on a budget to start saving so you can actually go back to school and not have to pay so much money, you know, out of pocket. Also, there are scholarships. There are always other things you can apply for to help you when you're in school. So don't say to yourself that, yes, ah, oh, these things are going to pull me back. You got to say, you got to say to yourself, what are the solutions to allow me to get to this road to become successful and, and get my passion to become a CRNA? What am I going to do? What's my intention? What is my plan? And maybe you need to map it out. Write on your plan with your pros and your cons to becoming a CRNA. What's gonna hold, what are some of the things that are going to hold you back? What are the things that you can do to help you become successful? How can you plan to allow yourself to reach that passion, that, that specific place that you want to be? Maybe it's not even becoming a CRNA. Maybe you say to yourself, I'm going to become a nurse practitioner, and that is fine. Anything in nursing is amazing. I love nursing. I mean, there's such a variety of nursing that you can do. I mean, if you don't like one area, you can go into another area. So, but just start thinking to yourself, what is your plan? What are you going to be able to do to make yourself in that right mindset? So, don't give up. I know you're maybe in a place that you say to yourself, ugh, I don't know for sure. Make it. Make sure you make that right decision for you that works best for you. No matter what I say, you know, you need to say to yourself, what works for me? you know, as an individual, you know, what can I do to make myself be in that right mindset? What can I do? Because it's all about the mind. And naturally, as the mind gets stronger and more positive, the actions start to fall into place. And I just believe in that stuff. And if you need to listen to motivational videos, maybe you need to um, watch, you know, go on, go online and look at motivational quotes. Maybe you need to, you know, listen to like positive affirmations. I mean, for me, I like those type of things that make me feel good. So if you want to try those out, definitely try them out. I feel that they're amazing. You know, all this positive, surround yourself around positive mindset because those type of things will help you. Also, I make a vision board, for example. I'll give you an example. Sometimes you can put on a vision board. I am going to become a registered nurse. I'm going to be in the ICU or not even say I will be. Say, I am a nurse. I am an ICU nurse. I am a CRNA. I'm a CRNA making this salary. I'm a CRNA um, in this specific area. I'm going to be a, a great student in school. I'm going to be great clinically. Well, not say I will. I am great clinically. I am a positive. I am happy. I am positive. I am mentally strong. I am never going to give up. I am passionate about becoming a CRNA. Say I am and put those things in a, on a board and maybe stick it by your, by your sink in, you know, your bathroom or maybe stick it on the wall. When you wake up, the first thing you see is those positive words. Maybe it need to be on your door. When you're walking out of your door, you see that. 
sometimes, and you can make it colorful, you can make it happy, you could put pictures of CR, a CRNA that looks similar to you, or a registered nurse or an ICU nurse. You know, you can do those type of things because honestly, I did it. So of course, nowadays, we're always on our phone. And so I would always like, as soon as I open my phone up, I would see this picture of the CRNA, you know, doing anesthesia that looked similar to me. So all the time, every day, reminded myself like, ah, oh, this is what I wanna be. This is what I wanna do. You know, this is exactly how I want to feel. And she had a smile on her face. She had these, this amazing cap. She was in the OR doing, an, like a picture of her doing, in the, you could see that she was in the, in, the, in the OR, you know, doing anesthesia. You see the vaporizers. You see the, the anesthesia machine. And I was like, ah, oh, this is exactly what I want to do. This is exactly how I want to feel. So I did that. So I kept on reminding myself of what I wanted to do. It kept, and also like, you know, having quotes on there. You know, you can actually add it and you can go to canva.com and you can actually put that photo on a sheet and then you can add maybe typing some text of like a positive, you know, I will never give up or I am a CRNA, something like that. And you can keep looking at that every single day. You know, maybe watch my videos. You know, maybe I have some videos on motivation Maybe every single day you watch a video on motivation to keep you on that positive mindset. Maybe watch a video on this specific principle. Watch a video on this specific principle and keep yourself the energy surrounding about being a CRNA. And that will help your passion and your drive to become real. Because right now you may be saying to yourself, it's not real right now. But it will be if you start thinking that way. And... You know, some of the stuff you may be saying, I may be saying to you maybe doesn't fit for you or this is not really your thing. But I think it works for me, so maybe a couple of you will like it. And so that's why I'm saying it because this kind of stuff makes me so excited. I feel like I just, I'm being myself, you know, and I'm being real. And this is how I've always been like. I'm just very positive. And yes, there may be some negatives going around in my life, but I turn it into a positive. For example, there's some people who think about the, the glass half empty. They're like, oh, this glass is half empty. Ugh, oh, it's frustrating. But for me, I say to myself, man, that glass is half full. It's not full, but it's half full. And I like the way that sounds. So maybe you need that, you know, that mindset, just uh, turn a negative into a positive. And I know it seems like it's not real. Like, how do you do that? You just try each and every day, you get better at it. And watch, I'm telling you, watching those, you know, even watching motivational videos on YouTube, amazing. Or reading motivational quotes, for me, it resets my energy. It allows me to be more positive. So I hope these things definitely helped you realize your passion and how to maybe change your mindset to become more passionate about becoming a CRNA, becoming a nurse, becoming an ICU nurse, maybe becoming a nurse practitioner. So if you want to learn more about CRNAs and how to grow your CRNA career, definitely click one of these videos over here and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.